That's a great answer. <laughs> Jeez, I did not see that. See? Guy. Amazing. Okay. People catch an eel and they're like, ew, an eel. And they have no idea like the freaking amazing story behind that eel. My name is Josh Delcourt and I teach science here at Thornton Academy. I'm also the advisor of the Thornton Academy Angler Society. Well, I'm super fortunate to get to teach Maine Fish and Wildlife and Trees in the Maine Forest. Uh, they're classes that I was able to design myself and they're really centered around my lifelong passion of the Maine outdoors. And the best part about teaching those classes is um, topics in forestry and wildlife management and all those things are constantly changing so uh, we get to explore those each year in class and I get to make new discoveries right along with my kids and it's, it's really fun to kind of model that, that inquisitiveness and that passion for the outdoors that I share with many of my students. So. Uh, the pandemic has, has changed a lot about teaching and I feel like the biggest change for me is I talk more now in class than I ever have before and that year we spent away really became um, in a lot of ways teacher centered and the students kind of got used to being behind that black screen and being able to get away with really no participation so having them back now has been a little trickier to get them involved and get them back in the flow and there's uh, still many days that I come home with a hoarse uh, voice from just really having to talk to kind of to, to drive that class dialogue along. Being able to teach outdoors and outdoor related classes, we get out as much as possible and being able to be outside has, has been a, uh, uh, a real blessing for me as a, as a science teacher. All right, so hear me out on this one. The most underrated animal in the critter world is the American eel. Okay? This is a creature that gets no credit from anybody. People see an eel or they catch one under their dock and it's always, ew, gross, an eel. And this has one of the most amazing life stories of any creature in the animal world. It's up there with monarch butterflies. Get this, every American eel that you've ever come across, anywhere in North America, all over the place in Maine, they're all born in the same place. They spawn somewhere in the Sargasso Sea, in the middle of the Bermuda Triangle. Nobody's ever witnessed it, but we know they must spawn there. Their planktonic offspring ride the Gulf Stream current up the east coast of the U.S., develop the ability to swim, swim up a brook, a river, all the way to a lake or pond where they spend 10 to 30 years and then turn around and go back to the Bermuda Triangle to start the whole thing over again. They're the only catadromous fish in North America and they get no credit. Science is an amazing topic and it's really important for students to learn science because you know, we get one earth and we, we have to take care of this place and, uh, and understanding those concepts and becoming more responsible global citizens is what we're all after. It's easy for me to teach because those concepts are everywhere around us. Kids walk out of my classroom and they immediately can observe things that we've talked about in my outdoor related classes and hearing those bird calls and those frog calls and being able to identify the trees in your backyard adds a whole nother layer of enjoyment to your life. All right, number one favorite movie, Rudy. Great movie. I love it because I'm a dreamer and I always root for the underdog. Number two, Happy Gilmore. Again, I'm a dreamer and I root for the underdog. Also, my generation, we grew up before memes and basically you had to just walk around quoting Adam Sandler movies. That was the funny stuff in our lives. So, Happy Gilmore is forever in my heart. My third one is kind of an obscure movie called Dead River Rough Cut. It's a documentary made about a couple of old beaver trappers. It follows them through a couple seasons in the North Main Woods uh, from back in the early 80s. And it's uh, a really unique look at a, at a way of life that was dying at the time and is essentially gone now here in Maine. So weekends for me can be a little crazy, especially when we have Angler Society outings and fundraisers. Um, and balancing all that with family uh, can be tricky. I'm lucky to have a really supportive family that, that is uh, behind me on all that. And my kids are just dying to come along and they're almost big enough to where they'll be able to come on the Angler Society outings here soon, so. So 
Being able to watch the Angler Society grow over the years has been super rewarding and, and really cool. And I think one of the things that, that draws kids to the club is that we have members from every background you can imagine and all ability levels. And that's one of the, the coolest parts about watching kids on an outing is I've got kids paddling a canoe that um, have been in the club for four years or do a ton of canoeing on their own with a, another student in the front of the canoe that they may not have known before that day but they're fast friends and they're connecting around a shared passion for fishing in the main outdoors and it's it's really cool and I think that's why our membership has grown because really um, kids from from all over can join and participate and feel comfortable. Okay I can't live without my family a canoe, and some time in the woods. Oh, that's a tough one. Um, I think it'd have to be a big old bear in the Allagash. Um, the, my students would tell you, my, the Allagash is my favorite place on earth, and uh, last year, I was paddling across a little round pond on Allagash Stream, coming up on little Allagash Falls, and a, I was all by myself, middle of nowhere, and a big old bear came walking out onto the ledge and stood there for a minute and looked around, never knew I was there, and turned around and went the other way. And just watching that thing in that moment, you know, just out there in the absolute middle of nowhere doing what bears do was, was really cool, and I was a little envious. <laughs>